First tonight, a Fall River man is facing several charges after police say his car hit two girls who were walking to school early on Monday morning. Now residents say it's a dangerous area despite it being so close to Talbot Middle School. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo has the details on where the investigation stands. She joins us now with that update. Sheena. Well, police just identified the driver as 45-year-old Jose Montalvo. It was a very scary situation for many in the area. Police say one of the young victims was actually pinned underneath the bumper of the car at one point. This is what the intersection of Eastern Avenue and County Street looked like Monday morning. Fall River police say two middle school students were hit by a car while walking to school. Very, very highly frequented area for children going to school. The incident involves one car. New details from police reveal the driver is 45-year-old Jose Montalvo. Police say, according to witnesses, Montalvo ignored a crossing guard who was holding a stop sign, wearing a reflective vest, and blowing a whistle when the students were hit. Detectives tell us one of the victims was pinned under the front bumper and now has a broken femur. The second victim had her foot run over while trying to help her friend. You know, children are being, you know, put in danger on a, on a daily basis, especially with school and whatnot. Tiffany lives in the area. She says she uses the same crosswalk every morning and drivers are often in a rush. The yellow light to them means go, it seems like. Nearby business owners Eyewitness News spoke with are also concerned about the timing of each traffic light in the intersection. They say drivers are often cutting it close. I know, yeah, drivers especially. Try to slow down Eastern Ave and County. Very important. Montalvo is being charged with negligent operation of a motor vehicle, failing to stop for a pedestrian in a crosswalk, and failing to stop at a stop sign. Now, we took those concerns to Fall River's traffic department. We're told right now they're currently looking at the intersection to see if there needs to be another crossing guard there. The two girls are 12 and 13 years old. One was taken to Rhode Island Hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. The second was taken to another local hospital with minor injuries. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.